Meet the tallest basketball player ever. Yo Ming, who stands 7 feet 6, makes most NBA players appear small. However, this natural phenomenon causes Yo to appear smaller. His name is Abedin, and he is the tallest basketball player in the world, currently standing at 7'11". We're not talking about the convenience store Adagoki, also known as the Big Ninja, who gained so much notoriety that he went viral. Shock shared a video of themselves together, but just take a look at this guy when you make Shock appear like a child. You're either an Abayadun at a Goku at a Goki was born in Nigeria, and because he grew taller than his house walls, he couldn't stand up straight, which caused him to have a hunchback nonetheless at the age of 16. Big Nigel was already a seven footer when he got discovered by a coach at the International College in Nigeria, and the coach just had to invite Adagoki to play for his team. Big Manager accepted, but he was so poor that he walked around in some do-it-yourself shoes made of plastic and truck tires. When he played basketball, he was barefoot because there was not a single shop in Nigeria that sold size 20 shoes. By the time the Big Nigel was 17, he grew to be 7 foot 2, and he quickly became a star at the university. Until out of nowhere, he had a go disappeared, nobody knew where he was until a few months later the university got a call. It turns out that Adagoki got an offer to play basketball professionally in the Middle East where he is still playing today, and to everybody's surprise, their former people never stopped growing when Shaq posted the video with him. He was about 7 foot 9, but in 2022, Adagoki measured himself and posted a picture that broke the internet because he grew again to his current height of 7 feet and 11 inches. If you watch his highlights in the Elite Youth League in Dubai, you might wonder how this 23-year-old behemoth missed out on NBA opportunities and why scouts from the league need to be discussing him rather than Victor Win Banyama. When Adagoki dunks the ball deep in the post, it appears as though he can't be touched and no defense can stop him. However, Big Niger isn't in the best shape and can barely run up and down the court. If this giant of 7-Eleven wasn't fast enough, it took him almost 15 seconds to get to the other end of the court. To make matters worse, his awkward movements and stiff stance make it look as though his legs are going to collapse under his massive frame. If he had ever played professional basketball, he would undoubtedly sustain a lot of leg injuries. Edidoki's jump shot isn't very good. It's hardly surprising that he lacks coordination and has poor basketball skills for someone his size. Although it's safe to state that this monster is far from playing any sort of professional basketball and that he will never play in the NBA, defenders merely need to be able to stand in front of him and deny him the ball to fully remove them from any offensive activity. Robert Dabrowski, a 17-year-old high school basketball player, is the only abnormally tall basketball player to become an internet star. Robert Dabrowski gained notoriety when he revealed that he was 7 feet 7 inches tall, weighed only 180 pounds, and resembled four long sticks twisted together. Because of his extreme height, Robert had always dreamed of playing in the NBA. His seven-foot-one father was a former basketball player who played on the Romanian national team alongside George Mearson, a seven-foot-seven giant and the tallest player in NBA history. Robert's mother was a six-foot-one volleyball player, and at the age of eight, he surpassed her height. That's right, Robert was six feet two when he was eight years old, and at 12, he surpassed his father's height. Robert was recruited by an Italian under-15 team, Stella Azura, and he helped them win the national championship. His family then moved to America and at the age of 17. Robert made his high school debut at the Spire Academy, where he became a teammate to Lamelo Ball. While Lamelo usually stole all the headlines, but Broski made sure it wasn't like this at Spire because he was an attraction everywhere. He went, however, Robert was limited by a lack of endurance, muscle mass, and mobility on the court. Rob also suffers from scoliosis, a disorder marked by a lateral curvature of the spine which causes back pain at any height, let alone 7 foot 7. Because of this, Robert couldn't do any squats or deadlifts, and even though he ate 7 meals a day, he hardly gained any weight during his time with Spire. In 2022, he played for Rochester University, but without any significant impact on the court, even though he had dreams to play in the NBA like Kristaps, Porzing is his favorite player. It doesn't look like pro basketball is in the cards for this gentle giant Sun Ming, but this next giant was anything but gentle at least not when he was kicking Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker's butt in the hilarious scene of Rush Hour 3. Whoa Lee, I have a major problem, man. This child is on steroids, he has a head like bear buns. Oh no, come on. Because of his movie role, Sun Ming Ming became just as famous as Yo Ming without ever participating in the NBA. It's unfortunate because the 7 foot 9, 360 pound player, Sun Ming, whose name means first love, was drawn at basketball because he was tall naturally and stood 7 feet tall at the age of 15. However, he was never meant to grow to his current height because he had an acromegaly tumor on his brain, which caused his body to grow rapidly even in his later years. If left untreated, this condition could have resulted in an early death. Before turning 21, his basketball career was in danger of ending, 
and he lacked the $100,000 required for surgery. However, his agent came to his rescue by organizing a very successful fundraiser and raising the necessary funds for the surgery. Sun has long dreamed of representing his nation in the NBA menu, but he was just three inches shorter than me in terms of talent and mobility. Sun played in Japan's and Mexico's minor leagues before returning to China, where he co-starred with Stefan Marbury for the Beijing Ducks during the height of his professional career. Despite having some technique and the ability to dunk without jumping, Ming Ming won two CBA titles. Sun Ming Ming was the center of attention and one of the most well-liked players wherever he played in 2013. Neil Finney entered the record book as the tallest British man ever at 7 feet 7 and a half inches and among the 25 tallest men in the world, so when he sprouted to 7 foot 7 as a teenager, Singleton decided to cash in on his height and pursue a basketball dream in America. He led his high school to a divisional championship and was named Massachusetts High School Player of the Year primarily due to his defense as he was blocking more shots than Dakem Mutombo. This earned him the invite to the 2000 McDonald's All-American Game, facing the best players in the nation and six future NBA players. Fangleton made his mark by blocking three shots in 10 minutes on the court. There was a legit recruiting battle for Singleton services, and when the time came in 2000, he picked North Carolina. He was supposed to be the most devastating defensive force in college, but then a disaster Singleton broke his back and was forced to miss his freshman season after undergoing back surgery and wound up playing only one career game for the Tar Heels. He then transferred to another school, but Neil couldn't really move anymore and his career came to an end, but Fingleton soon found a new column in acting. Neil had some notable roles fighting with Keanu Reeves in 47 Ronin, playing the gigantic Fisher King and Doctor Who and in Game of Thrones. He was mad than Mighty Four and Olivia Rio, but this next humongous basketball player still has NBA dreams that are very much alive. His name is Olivia Rio. He's only 16 years old, but he's already seven foot six. In 2022, Olivia made the Guinness World Record book as the world's tallest teenagers. But unlike most people of his stature, Olivia can play his mobile balance and agile enough to carry his enormous body up and down the court. Everyone knew Ryu was going to be tall because of a YouTube video that showed him competing in an under-12 tournament at 6 feet 10 inches tall, appearing twice as tall as everyone else. Denver's Jamal Murray even took a picture of Ryu, and if you photoshopped Murray's beard onto Olivia, it looked like Murray was his son. Doctors don't know everything, do they? Olivia was 5 feet 2 in kindergarten, but the doctors said he would peak at 6 feet 5. Olivia doesn't need to jump to dunk, so he probably didn't stop growing just yet. However, history has shown that being taller reduces effectiveness beyond a certain point, so perhaps Olivia's NBA aspirations would be best served if he didn't grow a further inch. Thanks for watching. Kindly like and subscribe for more videos. In the comments section of the post, please tell me how many you discovered.